Hi, welcome back to 5 Minutes After Milk okay. King. I'm Zhang Tang and the Vet. Every one of you knows that the milk production is the most important single determinant of profit for the dairy cow. So to keep it at the top, the farmer needs to control a lot of factors such as genetic background, diseases, feeding, year and season calving. All of these factors have been reported to affect the milk yield. So in today's video, we are gonna talk about a common disease in cows. It's foot problem, or you can say lambdas. As you know, when you're in pain, you eat less, and the cows also reduce their appetite when they have a pain. Then they don't have enough hormones, don't have enough energy to produce milk. One cow reduces the amount of milk, the farmer will fix it. But 20 cows, 30 cows reduce the amount of milk is very big problem. A lot of money to go buy every day. Veterinarians come to this farm about every two weeks to examine and treat the cows. Fortunately, we have a conversation with the veterinarians here. We have been shared by the veterinarians about lambdas in dairy cows. Thereby, we understand that it's extremely, immensely, totally important to properly detect lambdas. So, how do we detect that disease? Let's start, shall we? Firstly, to identify in the affected cows, we base on these main following symptoms. Swelling above the claw, red color above or between the claws. Digital dermatitis is mean inflammation at the skin and uh, lambdas while walking. From the material that the doctor gave us, the cows can be divided into five groups. The lambdas grade one, the normal cows. She stands and walk her level back posture and the gait is normal. Lambda is great too. The cow stands with a level back posture but develops an arch back posture while walking. Her gait remains almost normal, so it's kinda hard to detect them. The lambda is great 3, the moderately lamb. An arch back posture is visible both while standing and walking. It can be difficult for the untrained eye to identify the affected lamb even though the length of the stride is a bit shorter. The cow might relieve her weight on one or more legs. Lambda is great crawl. The cow stands and walks with an arch back. The head nods when she is walking and it's easy to identify the affected lamb. And Lambda is great five. She is severely lamb. She cannot uh, bear her weight on one or more legs, and uh, she shows inability to work well. In my farm, we don't have any cows like that. So, what should we do after finding a cow has the lamb problem? In the milking parlor, during milking, we need to carefully observe the cows. In particular, we need to observe the cow's back and gut when they enter the milking area. You know, if I find cows have lamb problem, I mark the cow with paint and write the number of their ear time on the board. Each cow has an ear time with its own numbers. In addition, we need to consider whether the disease is severe or mild. If the cow shows signs of serious lambdas, I write the number of their ear time and an exclamation mark on the board. That cow will be treated immediately and promptly. On the other hand, we also can detect the affected cows at cubicle, headlock, and walking area. At the cubicle, if I see the cow cannot stand up, I will call my boss immediately. My boss will come and resolve this cow. But we hope you don't have any cows like that. At the walking area, uh, if I see the cow, I will write a number and move it into box 1. You know, box 1 have several first meal, second meal cows and this cow also go to the milking parlor hit for night anyway the lambdas in cattle is a serious economic problem there are many causes of lambdas it is important that the problem can be diagnosed correctly and treated quickly to minimize economic losses in other words, 
Prevention is better than cure. I hope this video is useful to you. Thank you for watching this video. See you in the next video. Goodbye. Bye.